Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match in round number five, declaring the winner by knockout and new power slap welterweight champion of the world, Emmanuel Nola. I'm here with the new welterweight champion, Emmanuel Muniz. That thing looks really nice around you. How are you feeling? I feel great. It definitely looks nice around me. It's going to stick around me for a little while. That fight was unbelievable. I mean, the roller coaster of emotions I think all of us were feeling. What, what, what were your emotions going through it? I mean, at one point, it looked like you had him wobbled a few times. You, you looked like you had it in the bag. But what was going through your mind? Man, I'm just really upset I got knocked down. It's never happened to me before. Um, you know, to me, that's a lackluster performance. I need to do better than that. Uh, moving forward, we're going to put in a, a hundred times more work. We're going to continue to grind out. Um, you know, I, I didn't think Chris was going to be that much of a, a, an opponent. Uh, so shout out to him. Congratulations, Sam. He put up a hell of a fight. But uh, there is no comparing to me at all. Well, you got knocked down, but let's talk about what you did. You just defeated KO Chris Thomas for the first time in his power slap career. You did something no one else has been able to even get close to doing. Yeah, you know, I guess now we could call me uh, K.O. Manny now or something <laughs> like that, eh? <laughs> okay, so here you are, your champion. Uh, you can pretty much kind of call the shots as you will. What do you want next? Who do you want next? And, you know, the welterweight division hasn't really been moving the way it should be. There's not really a contender that I look at that I say that's, you know, that guy's next for sure. You guys need to battle it out, put up some more wins, because uh, it's not what I like. Well, before I let you go, I want you to take me through the finish. Talk to me about what's happening. Yeah, you know, uh, I felt good up there, felt strong. I wasn't quite getting the, sh the slap off like I wanted it to on that fifth one. I absolutely, I nailed it on the coffin. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, my placement was perfect all night. My feet were perfect all night. I've been working a ton on this, so to get that the way it was, I'm happy with it. I, I want a war. I want to show people that I have a chin. Uh, I'm the best there is in this division. I'm the best there is in power slap, and that's what it is. Your family sitting nearby, watching your every move. Talk about the significance of them being here and the emotion that that drove through you. Yeah, it means, means a lot to me to have my little brothers here. Um, you know, I try to be the best role model I can for them. So, you know, to put up and do what I say I'm going to do in front of them, it means a lot to me. And we know what you said you were going to do, but let's take a look back to two years ago when you began your power slap journey. Did you believe at this point you'd be standing here as welterweight champion? Absolutely. I believe in myself a, a thousand percent. There's never a doubt in my mind that I'm going to lose. So, you know, to come out here and do what I, I you know, I, I say I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do, it's just cement on it. That's all it is. Well, this is incredible. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your family. Go enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.